So, as of right now, obviously, it is getting serious out here in New York City, so I'm going to try to be as brief as possible with this. Uh, first things first, obviously, we've pretty much topped out as you know, cases of COVID-19, which is the disease itself. The name of the virus is actually called SARS-2. There's a whole bunch of videos talking about what the actual name of the virus is. Um, again, it's SARS-2, and the name of the disease is COVID-19. Anyway, it is definitely getting serious out here, for sure. Streets are empty, of course. Businesses are closed. Everybody's being told to stay home. If I weren't to talk about this right now, I probably would be pressured into doing it anyway. So anyway, the issue is now how it's supposed to be tackled and how the hospitals are going to hand, handle it and all the other stuff that's pretty much behind it, like the economy, you know, everybody's falling for unemployment by the millions and you know, everybody's out of work, you know, how, how is people going to pay rent when April 1st comes around, which has been up just about a few days. It's getting crazy out here. <laughs> it is really getting crazy out here. The last time that happened was, you know, uh, to about, um, September 11th, but not so much the 2008 housing boom, whatever it is. So it is definitely bad out here. Not so much with the viruses or anything, which like tops out of, like probably 21,000, something like that. And so far it's about 100 deaths. So definitely people are on edge, and um, I can definitely understand that. Everybody's concerned for their family, wife, husband, kids parents, sisters, brothers, so I can definitely understand that. I'm not going to, I'm not here to talk about the history of the virus or all the effects or the conspiracy theories or anything like that. I'm going to really just leave that to the rest of you two and um, really just talk about how I see it. So, you know, my job, there's like a third of the people there of which, say if it looks like, if there was like 12 or 13 people there, so it's like four of us now, because everybody else is working from home. All the main trades have stopped, except for emergencies. So, you know, if it's not an emergency, it's not going to get done. You know, that's, that's pretty much the gist of that. And I actually don't have the virus, and I don't think I will get it because of how isolated I am. Um, my job, you can't really get in without a badge and key, and so that pretty much rolls everything out from that side, and then where I'm living is like iso like 10 miles away from like any crowd, like five, six blocks away from the nearest corner store. It's it's definite isolation as far as like Benson Hurst goes. So I don't sound pretty protective, but I'm safe. Trains are empty, job, my job, like almost the office is like not empty, but just empty enough. And like there, I mean, it's like near deserted. So, not to mention, you know, my mom's checked up on me, see how I was doing. I mean, nobody else has really done that. Actually, one per one other person did, but not really most of my family has checked up on me for some odd reason. I don't know why that is. Maybe it's me, maybe it's them, maybe it's a situation. I don't really know. But as I said, I'm the outsider, so not really much I can do about that. New York City is one of those resilient cities. It really is. This is a resilient city. And so, it obviously, it's going to bounce back, but only God knows how long that's going to take. So I got the chance of working from home part-time and then being at the office part-time. So I'm alternating between shifts with one other, or well, a couple other people. But, you know, I get the chance to really get myself together while I'm at home. You know, I have more days at home. So two days one week, three days another week, which really does kind of help me a little bit. Mostly the city is relatively quiet. The city that never sleeps is pretty much sleeping <laughs> for once. Not to mention, now uh, you know, most offices are working from home now, so... But yeah, that's 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 pretty much about it as far as that goes. This is really just the effects, the economy, just how things are turning out right now. So, not going to go into the political side of it, not going to go to the economical or the virus's background or anything of that nature because that's not something that I would, you know, divulge myself in or also be an additional two hours of you guys listening to a talking head. So, I'm going to leave all that stuff out of it. I'm just, you know, sharing my experience with it and how I see it, my perspective of it. It's, it's really, it's getting serious out here. It really is. Another thing, too, is that because I'm now working from home, I'm you know, trying to put more focus into my music, the DJ side, as well as the produ audio production side. And I'm working on, you know, trying to get video together and all that stuff. Now that I have more time at home, I'll be able to get that stuff together. So, 
there's that. I do plan on taking a vacation in May still, maybe because flights are like forty, fifty dollars. Going out to Texas and Chicago and all that, it's like really cheap compared to like you know paying like almost four hundred dollars for the same flight. So I do plan on taking um, a trip to Dallas and um, Tampa if I decide not to go to Chicago. So it's one of those two cities. One of those two cities. I, I so I have to figure everything out from there, but I don't know. That's on the that's on the table still, and um, yeah. Also, I am going to be um, tomorrow. I'm going to um, show my perspective, my, my first person perspective of it, using my GoPro Hero Seven Black. You know, just showing my typical typical day at work and coming home and all that. So you're, you're going to see that. If you guys want to see some more audio and video production stuff. Destroy that like button, hit the share, comment, you know, give me some feedback. I'll try to get more stuff onto the channels as much as possible. We'll see how it goes from there. I want to, you know, entertain you guys as much as I can. You know, my purpose is to take out most of the hard work. So, because I know, you know, most people are ones and twosies people. You know, they just want to click on that video and sit and watch it. I can definitely see that. I want to see, I want, I want to see some good comments. All right, I will definitely see you guys in the next video.